Well, again, Hot Wheels collectors, and in particular, cartoon car collectors. So, I've been looking forward to this one for quite a while. It's number 78 of 250 of the 2022 season of Hot Wheels. Three of five of the Batman series within that year. And it's the tuned classic TV Batmobile. So, very cool. I wonder if Ryu Asada was the one behind this. Because it has his signature, like, Choro Q-esque proportions, I think. Although it's maybe not as tall as it could be. I don't know. Tough to say. Uh, so George Barris, this gentleman here, he took an old Lincoln uh, concept car and he was pressed on time by the production studios, so he converted that thing into a, the Batmobile. He took one priceless car and converted it into a TV show car. In 2013, the original Batmobile sold for like $4.2 million, so I'm not sure if it's changed hands since then, but uh, obviously, you know, nostalgia for rich people. Well, I gotta say, I mean, the the, the side printing isn't bad. Uh, you do have the jet engine back there and the parachutes and stuff. All right. Naturally, the wheels are just like those standard looking five spoke Hot Wheels. I'm gonna have to do a 3D printed wheel project on this one. I'll go for the original wheels. These are actually very large wheels. They're not the smallest of the Hot Wheels size. This would be like a mid-size one. And then this is like the giant, like 15 millimeter or 15 and a half millimeter ones if I had to guess. All right, well, the thing is black obviously, but then you have the printing of the little accent stripes. On the real car, they're orange. I don't know if this is orange paint, but it looks red to me. And the camera does show it looking orange, but maybe it's my photo booth. And even if it was orange, if you paint orange on black, that might be why it looks kind of red. Hmm, unless they call I don't know. But it's got a nice Bat Batman logo here, and there's also some gray. Uh, which I don't see on the real car. I'm wondering if these gray lines are supposed to mimic reflections or something like that. You see? They're like everywhere. It's interesting they chose to do that. Well, going to the top view, we have uh, the Hot Wheels logo printed there. It looks pretty good. Again, a bunch of these gray accents as well as some red stripes there. And then on the hood, we have the accents there and some gray again. There's gray on this raised X thing. I have no idea what that would be on the real car. Uh, the front has this texture. It's very nicely done. I'm wondering if that's plastic. It sounds like plastic. I'm wondering if this... I think this bottom casting might be going into this... Pla this plastic is part of this and it's going into openings in the metal die cast. That's what I'm guessing. Yeah. Uh, I think so. That sounds like plastic to me. Alright. Uh, no headlights. And frankly, I don't see any headlights in the real car either. But I do see a little orange here on the real car. So I'm not sure if I'll add that or not. So the very foreshortened, shrunken, weird glass cockpit thing that uh, George Barris put on is pretty well represented. There's a molded in circular thing which looks like it might be a siren or a light on the real car. And then we have a silver interior. You can see two really tall seats. And then uh, I think what, these are the exhaust tips. And so, there's three on the real car. You do see three bars, so I guess that's not bad. There's a giant gap here, though. I'm not sure why they would have that giant gap. I'm just wondering if they're trying to future-proof something else that goes in there. But what would they put there? It's just, it's weird. I mean, that's a huge gap. All right. So the silver is coming across to the back. But uh, it seems like these are put in from the outside into the casting. There's clearly a break in the plastic, but there's no way this silver is coming from the inside out. It's from the outside in. So, oh, you know what? There's probably like a groove right behind this. And so this silver is still part of the interior, but uh, it's being trapped because I can see this, what I'm touching here, is part of the black base. 
but here is the die cast metal so I bet there's like a groove there I find the construction of models interesting sorry if I'm boring you uh, there's some texture here on the perimeter of the thruster here the jet engine uh, maybe some silver paint would be nice there I wonder if they'll ever do a premium version of this, you know, with realistic, you know, bat, Batmobile wheels. Oh, uh, but maybe they can't because the Batmobile has this logo on the center of the wheel here. And Hot Wheels runs the exposed axles even on the premiums. So I'm going to guess they'll never do a premium of it. Or if they do, it's not going to have realistic wheels that have the Batman logo on the center cap. No big deal, not no big deal for me at least. Uh, so naturally it's a Hot Wheels, it rolls, right? Uh, so it is pressed with together, just like every of the Hot Wheels that I've ever seen. 2021 copyright, so it just came out in 2022. I don't know what the S21 would mean. But anyways, nice description of what it is, where it's made, everything you want to know. I really wish every other brand did the same. There's some details down here. Okay, well... Let's see if I can find some proper images of the original Batmobile's wheels, and I will be back. Here we are with some original Batmobile wheels that I uh, put into the CAD program. I did make the tires a little bit bigger than usual, so they fill in the wheel gaps a little bit more. And then uh, I didn't bother with a brake system, but there is air passing between the uh, spokes. And uh, I reused some Hot Wheels axles as well, so this thing does actually roll, but not very well, of course. Alright, uh, I did add some orange paint up in here, and then some red paint, because looking at some photographs, a lot of them have the taillights running there. And then for the engine, I added some silver on the outside and a little orange on the lip, but I left the, black, the inside alone, because that's what I saw in a lot of images. And I think these are supposed to be orange, but nothing wants to stick to the Hot Wheels plastic, so I left it alone. So that's it. Uh, let's compare it to a couple other um, cars now, or models. So the first thing I do is, uh, well, the logical one would bring out the regular Hot Wheels. This is a, I think it's one of those retro entertainment ones. It doesn't really say anything on the bottom indicating that, but it has real rider tires, so that's why I imagine it is. And then um, I have these other cartoonish uh, Hot Wheels. This one was the one before the Batmobile, the Volkswagen Mark I by Ryu Osada. And then he also did, I think, the Manga Tuner. But I have some BNDS alloy wheels on this one. And uh, some paint, paint details were added as well. And then this uh, Volkswagen Golf Dune Buggy thing. I 3D printed my own wheels with the wing, I have a supercharged V8 in the back, and then uh, some fog lights and stuff like that too. What I'm noticing is, um, if you look at the top view, this Batmobile is not the same type of cartooning proportions as the other three. The other thing, three seem to have very, very short wheelbases and very tall, you know, uh, greenhouses whereas the Batmobile clearly has a much longer wheelbase in fact it's it's not even half the length of the regular Batmobile it's like maybe 60 percent as long or you know it's been cut maybe 30 or 40 percent but if we look at this this Mark 1 Golf here see the wheelbase difference it's quite huge Ooh, even more so with the Manga Tuner. And then this VW Golf. Yeah, much, much shorter. So, if anyone knows about, you know, the inside scoop on Hot Wheels, was this done by Ryu Asada? I definitely know this one was, because it literally has his name on it. This one, uh, these two, I'm going to guess, were also done by him, because they have the same type of cartooning. But this one does not, so I, I don't know. I wonder if it was like something that, you know, DC wanted. Ah, well, I don't know. So, please leave a comment if you do know. I'm going to throw this out here because, you know, I love the Churro Cues. 
This is uh, Batmobile 1989 from Choro Q itself. Uh, yeah, there you go. So, let's see how this thing compares. I don't think Choro Q has ever done the original TV series one. Hmm. Now, these two are much similar in proportions. If you look at the wheelbase, In fact, now you pull those out. Okay, I won't focus, but the wheelbase is much closer. Alright. I wish I had three hands. If I had three hands, I could always hit the focus button. But, uh, I'm just using a cell phone, a mobile phone. I don't know if real cameras do a better job or not. I'm going to guess they don't. Oh, you know what? I have a Batmo Batman figure. Hold on a second. That Batman figure is by Bandai. They have a whole line of Gashapon figures. And not just like DC characters, but all the Marvel Universe characters and also Star Wars characters. So if you're into like super deformed stuff, you know, Band look up Bandai Gashapon figures. Um... Lego minifigures, also another good alternative. In fact, hold on, I think I have one. Yeah, I do have a, a Batman's Lego minifigure. But I guess that's why I don't ever put these out in my Churro Cube reviews, because, well, even though Lego minifigures are pretty small by toy standards, they're just way too tall to be anything close to 164 or Churro Cube scale. Alright, well anyways... Now we know that ends that uh, problem. I think we're blocking the vehicle too much. All right. In summary, it's another fantastic tuned vehicle by Hot Wheels. It is really nice that you know Hot Wheels is affordable to pretty much anyone in the world. You could be exceptionally, exceptionally poor, but you can still buy a Hot Wheels. I mean, most people can save up, you know, a dollar or three dollars in most other countries. So, yeah, I think it's great, you know. Okay, well, anyways, thank you for watching, and uh, I'm looking forward to the next one, which is, I think is a Chevy Silverado pickup truck to be uh, tuned next. Maybe that'll come out in a few months. So, uh, there's a couple of subscriptions, in case you're new to collecting, in my uh, subscription list. One is called The Daily Dose, and, uh, by defin by uh, description, he does a daily video on, you know, Hot Wheels as well as other 164 scale brands. The other one that I have is Y Team Hot Wheels, or it says Y Team. So those are two great channels to just keep on top of what's coming down the pipeline. If you guys are collecting Hot Wheels in particular, but again, he, they also cover other brands as well, including like the Mini GTs and. You know, Pyro 64 and Inno 64, the higher end stuff. Alright, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Bye. I'm Babin.